sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, your comments, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now let's get in there like swimwear. I have to remind people I have a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try to be better than me. An English professor, a what's that bandit, a hoodoo witch doctor that promises to get your love back for thirty nine ninety nine. All you have to do is sign your name on the dotted line. I'm going to tell you like this. Don't fall for the okie doke, okay? You, you're not going to get nothing but a whole bunch of karma and possibly somebody that's on your heels that you don't want or don't need in your life. So don't fall for the okie doke. All my readings are closed, okay? Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading will be in the description box below. I'm being advised to let individuals know if these readings resonate with you to make sure that you watch the readings that are attached to this reading, the cards that come up, okay? It will be beneficial for you. Um, energy is fluent, okay? There is no such thing as time in the spirit realm, only divine timing. Some of you, the energy was blocked off uh, from you, possibly because you weren't ready or because of, possibly because you weren't um, aware of this channel. OK, so make sure to watch those readings that may pop up in your um, on your timeline. OK, now, with that being said, let's get in there like swimwear. Now, I want to tell whoever it is watching this reading. Either you or someone you know, someone you're thinking of, a past over loved one, an ex, a co-worker, or a boss needs to get grounded. Okay? Somebody's letting their imagination run wild with them, um, on them. Okay? So you're dealing with somebody that is a power freak. Okay? Somebody's obsessed with a star seed, elect one, a chosen one. This person, this could be male or female. We have Aquarius energy. We have uh, Leo and we have Cancer Pisces, strong Pisces in this reading as well as Cancer. If you do not know the makeup of your birth chart, there is a link in the description box below, okay? You copy and paste that link into your browser. You can receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. So... I'm also being guided to let individuals know again that my readings are closed and um, I have somebody pretending to be me. So keep that in mind. I will not solicit my services to anyone. I do not DM anyone. I do not send out any friends requests. You have to contact me via email only, and that will be in the description box of all of the content here. If you see my readings on any other platform, I'm not associated with any 501c3, any church, any secret society. If you see my readings on another channel outside of Oracle of the Ether, which I do appreciate all of you that have got me to 1K, I will be uh, uploading content over there. I suggest that you go over and you subscribe to that channel, okay? So we have somebody, possibly a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. They could be an Aquarius. You could be a Aquarius. I have that in your chart. Somebody is uh, obsessed with someone, obsessed with controlling the outcome, the narrative of whoever this may be. Now, I must say you could be a Scorpio and this is happening to you. We have Tower uh, scorpionic energy as well as Aries. We also have the High Priestess Pisces energy as well as Cancer, but you don't necessarily have to be either one of those signs. This is somebody that is very close to the divine. This is somebody that pays attention to their intuition. You don't have to be a tarot reader. You can be somebody <clears throat> that is religious, <clears throat> but you're able to see through all the blurred lines, okay? The veil on this High Priestess energy is see-through. OK, it's transparent. OK, so this is somebody that has a, a connection to source without any hidden agenda. This is somebody that receives divine downloads. You may also have connections with the Natero. You can see she has an ankh around her neck. 
All right. That is a symbol uh, a symbolism of the Holy Trinity, the original Holy Trinity Trinity. OK. We have strong Pisces in this reading. Somebody's an intuitive. They're a healer. This is someone that has all the clairs. Definitely somebody that has all the clairs, whether if you know it or not. Some of you, you may have had a near-death experience. Some of you, you could have been woken up out of your sleep with some sort of information that you may have received. I'm also hearing some of you may have um, heard voices, okay? Some of you may feel like you are schizophrenic or something like that, all right? Um, some of you, you may have had some addictions in the past. I do feel like if that is you, you have stopped that. OK, somebody may have been using your addictions against you. They may have tried to say that you were hallucinating because you were into drugs. OK, so if you are um, a drug user, I advise you to quit it. OK, because the information that you receive is coming straight from source. Some of you, your immune system is so strong, it really doesn't bother you. OK, you may have been a functional addict. And that is not to downgrade or downplay anyone. But what I'm saying is it is distorting the connection that you have with the divine. We have Jupiter here. This is talking about abundance of gifts, abundance of knowledge. This is also talking about time, commitment, Okay, rising to the occasion. This is also what I'm hearing. Somebody could be a Sagittarius again or a Pisces. You are somebody with a strong will. You're very courageous. You could have connections with Segment, Basset, or the Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, excuse me. So you receive some sort of download in the dream state. You may have felt like you were hallucinating for some of you. You are also connecting with the matriarch. This gift could have came from the, the women in your family. And or some of you may be realizing something about the women in your family. If this is not you, this is somebody that is watching you, someone that wants to come towards you. Could be a family member, a mother, a child, a sibling. We have Aries. Somebody is very worried about how they appear in the public. This is also somebody that doesn't move and they hit the ground running. Okay, I'm hearing you can't be stopped. Somebody needs to speak some sort of truth. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves or honest with their past. You may need to check your south node. That south node could be Aries, Cancer, Pisces. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be a sun or a moon sign as well as an Aquarius, or they could be dealing with one. Somebody is stuck in the past. Okay. You may have disconnected from friends and family members, soul mate, soul contracts because of an illusion or an addiction. OK, somebody was confused about the past. I'm also hearing soul retrieval. Some of you could benefit from that. We have the father of time with Saturn being here. This is talking about commitment. Somebody needs to speak some sort of truth, possibly about how they receive money or about a partnership that was ordained by the devil okay you may have blocked this person off because you uh, may have found out some information regarding <clears throat> their past or regarding maybe that they were in a commitment you could be i'm hearing a cancer <clears throat> but you could be a Capricorn, a Pisces, or have that in the South Node. We have Leo. This is talking about leadership. This is about your creative abilities here. This could also be speaking about friends, family members, things of that sort. This is not your friends or family members. This could be someone, your divine partner, friends, or, or family member. With Pluto being here, that is Scorpion, Scorpionic energy. Okay, this is talking about death, rebirth. This is also talking about taxations. This is also talking about unconscious fears. Okay, so some of you may have been fearful, okay, of your gifts, of fearful of being put I'm here on the pedestal. Okay, so I don't feel like you are have a fear of being put on the pedestal. Some of you may have 
problems with public speaking or something of that sort. Um, people may have tried to scapegoat you because you are someone that, um, you know, wears your heart on your sleeve. And that may have been something that you had to learn how to deal with because you were definitely dealing with someone that was misogynistic. This is masculine energy, but this is most definitely toxic masculinity, no matter if it's a male or female. This could have something to do with the father, a child's father, your father. This could be a boss. Somebody move forward. They're going to have chariot energy, cancer energy. Somebody's balance and possibly this male figure doesn't like that. They don't appreciate that. Okay. They don't appreciate the fact that after they tried to do everything that they could to you, you managed to move forward. The chariot speaks about throne energy. That is also someone that is very connected and appointed by the divine. Right. Some of you, you may be a little scared by your dreams. You, you're definitely going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Why is Pluto here, please? Some of you, you're being guided to stay focused. God is with, within her. She will not fail. So after you had this group affiliation, friends or family walk, watching you, stalking you, doubting you, okay, uh, in belief of... The pedestal that you was placed on by the divine you may have had to cut out these toxic friends and family member because these are people that were very controlling all of your life all right somebody's realizing that they can't copy you because of your authenticity okay you're somebody that speaks some sort of truth you may have spoke some sort of truth i'm hearing about something that may have happened to you as a child okay something that was hidden from you okay some of you you may have had some crown chakra manipulation done to you as a child this could be binding okay this could also be someone giving children alcohol or something like that as a child we have a con contradiction don't try to justify an irrational decision stop making excuses so whoever this copycat is, it could be somebody that you cut off. It could be platonic or it could be relationship-wise that was speaking ill will, ill intent, possibly giving you evil eye because they didn't want people to see you in your true likeness. You are a star seed. You are elect one. You are a chosen one. This was somebody that was very controlling. They was trying to control the narrative over your life and possibly the life of your loved ones, people that you hold dear with the fourth house being here. The fourth house belongs to Cancer. Sorry for the monotone, but this is what I'm picking up, okay? Um, <clears throat> they didn't want you to be in the spotlight. They didn't want you to do what you were called to do. We have law of reflection. You are the company you keep. So you definitely had to let go of friends and family members that were toxic to you. Yeah, you had to bury that energy. Some of you, you may have buried a loved one. My condolences to you. Why is buried here? What I'm getting strongly is there was an ending to some sort of illusion, something that was casted on you by family, okay? People may have felt like because it was your family that they were speaking some sort of truth. But these individuals didn't realize that your family was definitely toxic, and that is not to... Uh, call you out because most elect ones have toxic family members all right so we have nirvana somebody could like you the group are, you are in some i don't know where to stop that you are in some sort of state of enlightenment or you gain some sort of um enlightenment about the company that you keep people need to realize that even if you are elect one a chosen one that is definitely um more so the reason why you need to cut off people that are toxic, people that do not see things uh, the way you see things because they will only hold you back and you will only take on the energy of that karmic individual. OK, so you will be or you have some of you, you already have uh, gained some sort of enlightenment. If this is not you, this is someone surrounding you, possibly family members. Why is buried here? king we got the emperor somebody they could be king also okay so we have uh 
a masculine energy. This could be a child's father. This could be someone's divine masculine. Or you could be this divine masculine here that possibly buried a family member, okay? Some of you didn't know that you were being mind effed in this situation. Somebody was giving bad advice, possibly the advice to let go of your chosen one, your elect one, your twin, your divine counterpart, okay? Some of you, these people may have accused you of doing witchcraft here, but what I'm getting is there was a witchcraft, a spell placed on this masculine energy. Why is this here? That spell could have just been simply that uh, to let go of someone that they loved. So that spell on, was, uh, for some of you, actual lies and manipulation. Someone wanted someone to end a situation with you. This could also be somebody's child's father that may have, I'm hearing, ghost, ghost lit you. Okay, gas ghost lit, gas lighted you. <laughs> okay, they may have said um, that they got rid of you, but I feel like it was the other way around because somebody's in this energy of reaping what they sown. Okay, some of you, you may be realizing that you you were, um, you know, you were surrounded by energetic vampires, people that wanted to drain you of your energy, people that wanted you to give, 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 and they take, take, take. It wasn't equal give and take in this situation. So you move forward here. This is some more chariot energy. Some of you, you may have gotten a new car. All right. Uh, for some of you, somebody may have tried to send you a false lover, a false flame. Some of you, you already have a new partner here. Let's see what's going on with this. Yeah, some of you are starting a new family. You have a, a divine counterpart that you are currently with. Okay, keep in mind this is past, present, or um, current energies. Yeah, some of you, you are happy, you know, because this is not a bad spread. These are all high vibrational cards, okay? People speaking their truth. Tower moments is coming. Uh, for some of you, a tower moment came because you, for somebody else, because you moved on. Some of you may realize that your ex or child's father could be bi or gay or something like that. So, yeah, we got you don't miss your water until your well runs dry. No fear, no doubt. So you in the past, um, some of somebody was doubting you. You may have doubted yourself. Some of you, you have done some sort of subconscious work or super conscious work with the sun card being here. All right. You may have cried many nights. OK, you had to bury that. Some of you, you may have also been doing a release uh, cord cutting or something like that. It helped you to move forward to clear that stagnant energy. Some of you may have realized that the person that you had a child with was indeed a karmic. OK, I'm hearing this is somebody that possibly never helped you, even if they were in the household. You were feeling like you had to do everything by them by yourselves. Now, this individual is in their thoughts, feelings and emotions with don't ruin a good today by thinking about a bad yesterday. Let it go. I feel like you had to do that. OK, somebody wanted you to always be in your head missing them or um you know this person could have tried to cause a lot of endings surrounding you your family or something like that somebody definitely wanted to isolate you or make you feel isolated if this is not you this is your divine counterpart that is going through this what that one to come out we have archangel seraphim the highest rank of seraphim burns away sin, a leader, celestial being. Okay, so yeah, somebody didn't know that you passed some sort of cycle. You let go of the past or anything that was stagnant. You buried that energy. Somebody wanted you to still be stuck in past life energy. They didn't want you to ascend. What do we need to know about Archangel Seraphim? Okay, so for some of you, this is a child's mother, a child's father of you, of yours, or someone that wants to come towards you. For some of you, this is a child's mother, child's father of somebody that you have a child with, you know, if they have other children. If you don't have any children, this is somebody that definitely uh, is involved in your family. It could have something to do with your father. So we got somebody that hides behind a username. Okay, this is somebody that wears a mask. They're pretending to be someone else. And for some of you, it's someone that you have children with. If you don't have any children, this is someone that possibly wants to have children with you that's going through this. Archangel Seraphil. 
Nibiru could be significant for some of you. Somebody could be going through the ring of fire or some sort of ascendant, uh, ascension here. All right. So somebody's trapped in negativity with the portal card coming out, the astral world. This person refused to complete a cycle. They lacked faith in you or lacked faith in a higher power with the principalities here. <clears throat> Some of you, you had a child with a fallen angel, okay? Somebody that's ruled by darkness. This is somebody that has weak will. Uh, their body is there, but their spirit is gone. They have a crown chakra blockage. Somebody could also be burying someone. I'm not even going to go into specifics about that. Somebody could have had brain surgery or brain damage, okay? Uh, so this person was just in a negative downward spiral is what I'm getting collective. Okay, you may have wanted to save this individual or you felt like you could save this individual. But what I'm getting is this person sold their soul a long time ago, even before you met this person. Okay, this person was only out for street cred. We got terrorism, enforcement and prevention. All right, we got Penile Code 18622 Criminal Conduct. I'm trying to tell you this person was in a downward spiral before you uh, even met them, okay? So either you were trying to apply pressure or they were trying to apply pressure on that it keeps cutting off. We have someone that was trying to apply pressure in this situation, okay? Something had to end, something had to complete we have knowledge of where you come from and well and where you'll return do not attempt to fit in so in the past somebody was trying to wave ride your way but they got consumed with emotions okay you were too flexible in the situation you bent over backwards here there was a lot of pressure being placed on you you possibly had to raise children by yourself or you raised yourself you were a latchkey kid here all right so somebody is fearful of them being found out okay yeah they got bad nerves we got think here so somebody definitely has some sort of brain injury they could have also tried to cause a brain injury to you i'm also getting that um, someone could have suffered a heart attack or a stroke but you're definitely dealing with someone that has bad nerves okay yeah they have a weak defense system. This person could be taking some sort of medication. I'm also hearing something about dialysis. Why is your dreams here? Some of you, you may have had a dream about this. Okay. So somebody's calling on you or you could get a call. Make sure that you was saying. Somebody could be calling on you in the dream state or you could receive a call. Somebody may be trying to, to set you up. Then I feel like somebody's on a three-way call or they have somebody listening in. So we got today, I'll be you. This is somebody that's using multiple accounts, all belonging to one person. This person has memory loss, okay? Possibly due to drug addiction, alcohol, or whatever. This is also somebody that uses um, tarot or they use some sort of sorcery moon magic possibly tarot readings and things of that sort they could watch a lot of collective readings we have stay calm rest surrender and the d word okay so something came to end and i feel like it was manipulation or somebody's drug addiction alcohol addiction so if this person calls you uh, this is only clarification to stay calm. Don't let your emotions run wild here. Anything else? Yeah, chaos and conflict. Conflict magic. Possibly by fake family and friends. We got disoriented energy. No clear direction. Wrong info. Lies. Disconnect from family. Trauma caused by someone close and a scam. So somebody uh, is trying to manipulate you. This is a family member. This is something that's happening in secret. You are dealing with somebody that has a lot of issues here. Okay. You could also be dreaming of this person or this person is trying to astro project teleport or cause some sort of chaos conflict in your environment okay they're trying to send you telepathic nightmares or something like that okay you may have exposed or this energy is being exposed and it's causing some sort of karma to come back on this person 
you could be seeing 333 three, three. this is somebody that is this could also be a tarot reader okay that is not uh they're very jealous and envious of the gifts that you have some of you you could be reading for the public or you could read at home for some of you you may have connected with this tarot reader okay you could have gotten a reading from this person you could also be seeing 444 or that is significant somebody has <laughs> the intuition of an elephant <laughs> or the memory of an elephant i don't know why elephants came to mind but that could be significant for someone i'm hearing something about an excursion uh 222 could also be significant you were dealing with someone that was in balance in balanced here this person was not appreciative of god's gifts that was given to them so this person was doing things in the dark okay trying to cause some chaos and conflict okay so this person could be a family member or a psychic reader or something like that that lied by a mission this could be somebody giving you a false reading as well or you may be watching a reading that is not meant for you we got you be you and i'll be me okay so here it is and the tarot reader card keeps coming up so somebody's heart is beating fast as they know they've been exposed. This is somebody that does not take responsibility or accountability for their actions. This is also somebody that may be using somebody else's work. Okay, somebody's ex. Okay, or somebody that's in uh, some sort of illusion or a loveless relationship. This person could be, tenant, be pretending to be with you, but you've let this person go or you're being advised to let this person go. We got angels are supporting you as you move forward. So something is going to be exposed about somebody that's watching tarot readings or giving tarot readings that may have tried to cause an ending in your career or whatever your dreams is. Okay, so this is somebody that may be uh, may pretend to be a lot of different readers. You know, what's that bandit? Okay, so that may be exposed. That is uh, one particular person or, or three people. I'm hearing this could be a couple again that is uh, I'm hearing what's that bandit they mimic readers here okay so that may be an exposed be yeah that may be being exposed in the future that it's a couple that is pretending to be tarot readers and giving false readings I'm hearing what's that bandit and something about Instagram time and commitment why is this here keep cutting off i'm not doing that so the stalker <laughs> you know they get they got arrested bad fortune lack of interest all right so yeah i feel like in the future something's gonna come out about these people that are pretending to be tarot readers they're not just doing it to my channel they're doing it to a lot of channels we got he or she who wins the war writes the story know your worth so somebody wanted to be in some sort of illusion somebody wanted to be a divine being but they're not because they haven't cleared their karma karma they don't want to work on their issues for some of you is your family members or their family members okay that's giving wrong information this could also be someone that's trying to out somebody on social media by slander lies and manipulation for some of you you'll find out that it's your family their family okay somebody that's trying to do false readings you could be seeing 888 yeah you learned a lot on your journey so I lose control and uh, I lose control of my emotions and blame everything on you trickery. So they're arguing here, this couple, this group or whatever. They're arguing because whatever illusion that they try to present, it is false here. And somebody knows the truth. They're not saying anything. Somebody knows that somebody's into candle magic. Okay. Somebody's trying to cipher somebody's psychic abilities or block them. We have crime, car crash. Somebody has a blood disease. And we also have the D word. But we also have a rebirth. Okay. And someone told a lie. Someone told a lie and they're not spiritually protected. If they're touching cars or especially if they're speaking on the Orishas. Oh, it's, it's, it's karma behind that with my 
not being here. You could be a Libra, but they didn't know that you were balanced. They didn't know that you have protection. For some of you, these people do readings and they haven't cleared their karma. So they could be getting psychically attacked. So some of you, you could be dreaming of, the, of these people because you are a seer. You don't necessarily have to be an actual reader, but you come in in contact, you watching these readings, okay? Some information is being um, given to you, okay? So yeah, these are our flunkies here. We got goons, beef, troops, okay? These are not divine beings. These are flunky. These are wannabes here. For some of you, this is, I'm hearing somebody's son could be involved as well in a gang. Somebody's neighbors, co-workers, or family members knows the truth. Something is not adding up. Somebody is a black widow. Are they, are, yeah. This is a distraction. For some of you, this could be a tarot reader that is casting some sort of spells. Somebody could also have food poison. Uh, for some of you, this reader may even have a spider tattoo. I'm hearing on their hand. Somebody is involved uh, with someone in the LGBTQIA community, or this is someone that uh, doesn't like the LGBTQIA community. Okay, so yeah, this is somebody that may attack somebody's crown chakra to tie and block off their psychic abilities, and I'm being guided to end it there. Okay, so yeah, we got a lack of interest. So there's group conflict here because someone can't put all their burdens on you. Whatever illusion that they were trying to present is definitely coming out. And if this is a reader, it's coming out in their readings because they 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 may be sounding too much like certain people. Like people are starting to notice some things here. Okay. How this ties into you is you were supposed to um, connect with this energy. How I'm seeing it is when all these divine beings come together, um, it causes some sort of light to come where there was darkness. We got the sun and the moon. So this is definitely, I just noticed that sun, moon, and stars. Ain't that something? All right. I hope I gave you some clarity. Make sure to, to um, trust your intuition. Head on over there to Oracle of the Ether and subscribe. I appreciate all of you that already have. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the support. Deuces.